We're coming at you today with a keto full day of eating video. And Theo is a big boy now. Look how big he is. Mega is going out to breakfast today yeah. with Theo. But he is hungry. He gets in that thing on his own. He pushes it off and he climbs in because he's ready to cook his eggs. But kids just grow up so fast. It's crazy. Hot. Hot. Yeah. Almond butter. Cashew butter. Which one? Okay, that's a winner. And this is the bread, if people are wondering. Okay. You are excited, huh? Uh -huh. Hot. Let's cut it in half. Go ahead. Other side. Oh, good job. Mmm. Mm. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. It's about 10 a.m. and I'm going to make a bulletproof coffee. So I'm making my coffee here in the French press. And to it, I'm going to add some coconut milk, probably like a quarter cup, a tablespoon of ghee, and then just for some flavor, this MCT oil powder. It is cinnamon toast flavor. What is that? Like, no, it'll probably be like 30 grams of fat total, about 300 calories. And after this, I have a beard now. I'm going to be starting a new workout program. I just kind of like downstairs, I was putting it all together in a spreadsheet. I've been so lazy for the past two months, but it's just going to be a quick one. It's going to be like a 30 minute workout, like, you know, bench press, squats, deadlift, that type of thing. And then 30 minutes walking on the treadmill while I watch the great courses. And I have been watching this course on the French revolution. We are headed out to brunch right now to meet with some friends. Theo is usually starving when he wakes up, but we had a small breakfast as you saw, but he found some puffs in his seat that he's snacking on before we get there. Did you get your coloring paper? What are we gonna have? We're gonna have the bacon and egg. Who are you smiling at? And we're at first watch. And I have been craving a salad. So I think I'm gonna go for the cob. Uh -huh. So you already ate. Sprouts has a low carb bread section. That's great. And cute babies. And they also have this right here. I grabbed for a mail time segment. And I'm gonna try this bread out. Someone's eating some cheese from the deli counter. Okay guys, just got done with my workout and I know a lot of you say that you don't have time to cook when you're trying to do a keto diet. You wanna come up with some easy to throw together meals. So this is two pieces of salmon. I think it's like 12 ounces total. Bring it over. It looks like one of them's curry. Mega made these for me. Is this curry? Yeah, I did it in What's the this? air fryer and just salt and pepper. Yeah, six minutes in the air fryer. At 380. At 380. And then I have this bone broth, which is just like a microwavable little thing. It's from Bonafide Provisions. They sent us a bunch. And you know, that's a good quality lunch. And it only took like six minutes to make total. Really simple. And we do have a sponsor for this video. It is Perfect Keto, which I'm also gonna be having one of these for lunch. So this is Keto Bars. They make, they make a bunch of different flavors. Some of them are great. My t three favorite flavors, chocolate peanut butter, mm -hmm. pumpkin spice, and banana nut bread. It's just banana bread, I think. Banana bread. Uh, the banana bread one, it has a little bit of a fake banana flavor. Some people might not like it. I like it a lot though, it's my favorite. And they also got stuff like this. They got cookies, these are snickerdoodle cookies. You get a little two pack, three net carbs, good ingredients. And it's just a good place to go and load up because they have all keto stuff. They got MCT oil, MCT oil powder, collagen powder, cookies, bars, and nut butters and a lot of other stuff. So check it out. Use the code KETOCONNECT for 15% off. And that's pretty much it. It's 1 p.m. I'm having my lunch and Theo has swimming lessons tonight. And you're growing a mustache. Yeah. So we have a container of strawberries here. I think it's 16 ounces and I washed them all and we're gonna cut them up and make some jam together because I figured that would be a good way to use it and we can start spreading it on his toast and he's starting the process. He's doing it wrong, but... Bah. So all we need to do is cut these up. We're gonna heat them with some water, mash them up, and then add chia seeds and some sweetener. And then we have our jam. We probably, we don't even need the sweetener because Theo bah. won't know the difference. 
So I'm cutting them up about this size and instead of putting them in, they, Theo just keeps eating them. So I don't know if we're gonna make jam or if we're just gonna have a baby that ate 16 ounces of strawberries. Stop eating the strawberries, Theo. Okay, mommy's gonna keep cutting. I know time passed, but it's none of that. It's my mindset, not my circumstances. I am light and don't want to be I'm moving on from unconsciousness. Yay! So after cutting away a lot of the bad pieces, and there were a lot, that's what we're left with. So I just added some water, and now we're gonna heat it. Well, there were bad sp spots, and Theo ate a lot. And I'm having an after lunch snack. An epic bar, uh. and uh, macadamia nut butter. Okay, so this is gonna take a while, probably like 10 to 15 minutes, but I'll show you the progress once we're about to add the chia seeds. So while we make the jam, I'm just making, Theo's turning on the blender, and I'm just making little turkey cheese roll-ups for him using just some turkey and some cheese I got today while we were at Sprouts. Wow. Be careful. Okay, so our jam is almost done. Theo helped mash up the strawberries. That's what it looks like. Now we're just gonna add, excuse me. Now we're just gonna add two, two to three tablespoons of chia seeds and let it thicken. Theo is playing in the utensil drawer and eating this snack. He loves these bars and they're really good. Simple Mills almond flour. This, is, this is a peanut butter bar. I have a bunch of flowers. But he's having that before he has to go to swim. And then I'm having, as you can see right here, deli meat cheese. It's Swiss cheese, turkey. And I'm just having a snack because I'm hungry. And then when daddy comes up, we're going to try the jam we made together, huh? Oh. Yeah. He's, he's having snacks. He's eating pre swim class cheese. He's getting like cramps. These guys are just best friends over here. What do you think? The verdict? Seems like he's not sure. He's eh, a cheese man. Doesn't love it. We're back from swimming. Mega's cooking dinner. Looks like we got steaks going down. Those look good. Yeah. Broccoli on the power boil. Looks like Theo's got a new dish he's working on, air fryer lime. Oh, limes, actually. I'm gonna have a little pre-dinner snack. Just some of this sauerkraut, spicy kind. Oh, peekaboo! And it's dinner time. So here we got broccoli. I'm just having three steaks, it looks like. You'll know, get some little broccolis there. Do I get a steak or you get them all? We shared on Instagram, so a lot of you probably know, but we are expecting baby number two. Yippee! I am pregnant. Second trimester. I don't know, looking at Theo, he's definitely not prepared to be a big brother. One fun thing about Mega being pregnant is there's gonna be someone, this happened This happened last time a few times, mm -hmm. there's gonna be someone that comes in when she's like eight months pregnant and she's like, doesn't look like the diet's working, someone got fat. Okay, dinner time. He's just cramming it, he's not even thinking don't about what cram, it is. Don't cram, Theo. I like when he crams. Ease in the wind, baby, leave when the wind's take what it gives, baby. Right to the end, baby. Leaves in the wind, baby. Breathe it all in, cause when it touch down, you're coming back, coming back. I'm in the Clean Plate Club once again, and Megas looks like she might be too. I'm eating my steak with salsa. Is that forbidden? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't do it. I mean, I think people who eat their steak with steak sauce, that's just a shame. I think steak sauce is pretty good, but it has oh. a lot of sugar in it. And Theo ate basically all of my broccoli. Theo has a new pet. You taking the blender over for a walk? I'm having an after dinner snack, one of these keto bars. And as you can see today, pretty basic. I do this a lot. Meat, vegetables, couple snacks. That's a pretty good formula for success. Some people would say don't do the snacks, but you know, know yourself. If you're incapable of doing no snacks, you might need some healthy snacks. It is February 8th, and around this time of year, people start falling off their diets. Very crucial that you guys reflect a little bit, look back at the first six weeks of the year, realize the impact your diet changes have had, keep it going.
Sometimes you gotta look back just to see what a positive impact it's been having. And for all of you that did the 30 under 20 challenge, which ended about a week ago, great job, really hard to do. Hopefully you're building momentum and after the 30 days you didn't give up and you're just like still on. Since we do lives every day at 9 a.m., every weekday, so five days a week at 9 a.m., a very repeat question we get is, how do I stick to keto? Like I've tried it a few times, I never really stick with it. What's your best advice for sticking to it? And I think the best advice is maybe two parts. Number one is doing something like the 30 under 20 challenge where you're really just tracking carbs, you're not treating it like a normal diet, you're not trying to restrict calories too much. That's probably the number one mistake people make, why they fall off the diet pretty early on, is they're trying to restrict calories and get results really quick. You just gotta expand your time horizon do something a little bit uncomfortable every day as opposed to something tremendously difficult for a couple weeks. And the other thing is just expect the results to come slowly but steadily. Maybe weigh yourself once a week, not once every day. And I guess just have more of a realistic time expectancy of how long this is gonna take. Just be comfortable with slow and steady improvements. And if you fall off, a lot of people, they're either on or they're off. If you fall off, what helps is to look back and be like, okay, I did what I set out to do for 10 days and then I had an off day by accident. But before that, every day was an off day. So I'm improving. And then you, you do it again and maybe you go for like two weeks, maybe you go for a month and you're just slow and steadily improving. That's all you really gotta do. You're either growing or you're dying. Is that the saying? Yeah. I would say that's the same case. You just don't give up. 90% of life is showing up. That saying has been coming to me a lot lately. I think it's so true. You just keep showing up. Eventually you get results. It's the people that just completely check out. They give up. They're the ones who don't end up getting the results. So as long as you keep showing up, keep punching the clock, eventually the results will come. You doing any snacks or is it just me tonight? Might just be you. I ate a lot of steak. If you guys are wondering what kind of guy Theo is, he's a Ford man. F Tesla. I hope he's not really a Ford man. No, he's gonna be a Ford man. He's gonna be using the family discount. Theo's getting a 2016 hey. Ford Focus for his first car. I, I guess I'm curious to know. Let me know down below. Do you do the same thing? Like, do you just eat everything on your plate? Even if like you're full, you're just like, oh, I'll just finish it. If it's on my plate, I'm eating it. Yeah. All right, so that is a wrap on our full day of eating. All right, we'll see you guys later. Say bye, Theo. Say bye. We'll see, you. see you next week. Bye-bye.